Hello everyone and welcome to this introduction to NiFi series. My name is Malcolm Mathiris and I am a big data engineer working at Epon Technologies. Epon Technologies is a boutique IT consulting company specializing in agile development, big data, DevOps, and cloud services. A huge part of our culture here at Epon is our emphasis on thought leadership. Epon strives to give our engineers a chance to share their expertise on any topic of their choosing. This video is the first of a few explaining my experiences and expertise in using Apache NiFi. Before I begin, if you have any questions concerning NiFi or Epon Technologies, feel free to post your questions in the comments below or contact us at any of the emails here or in the description below. Let's begin with what NiFi actually is. Apache NiFi is a data flow management system it comes with a web UI built to provide an easy way to handle data flows in real time. The most important aspect to understand for a quick start into NiFi is flow-based programming. In plain terms, you create a series of nodes with a series of edges to create a graph that the data moves through. In NiFi, these nodes are processors and these edges are connectors. The data is stored within a packet of information known as a flow file. This flow file has things like content, attributes, and age. We'll get into the specifics more on the next video, but to take the terminology back into plain terms, as a user, you connect processors together using connectors to create a representation of how the data should be handled within each flow file. This is what the previous flow would look like in NiFi. The example given is a web service that handles requests to three different backends and returns the result back. Each individual processor comes with a variety of information readily available. The status is whether that processor is stopped, started, or incorrectly configured. The bulletin indicator shows that something has been logged based on the activity, be it an error or information. Five minute statistics gives you a brief window of the activity of that processor. Useful in case more or less data is coming through than you thought. Here is a very small sample of a few different processors available to us in NiFi. I personally like to group them like this, inputs, outputs, and the transformations and flow logic that goes in between. These inputs and outputs range from local files to cloud services to databases and everything in between. Apache NiFi is open source and easily extendable. Any processor not yet included can be created on the fly as per your own specifications. But for now, Here's the example provided on Apache NiFi's homepage. In three short videos, I'm going to show you how to build something just like this, step by step. Allow me to lay the scene for you. You have a service running on your machine that appends system logs and chat room data to a local file. You've been tasked with moving that data from the local machine into the company Kinesis instance. Where this data lies and what is in this file is unimportant for this video, but it will become important later on when we start manipulating the data that's found. To start out, we're going to load into the Apache NiFi web browser. Here, we will drag a new tail file processor from the command bar. We configure the processor by right-clicking it. Drag a new Put Kinesis Fire Hose processor.
configure it using the information you have from your own AWS instance. And now connect the two. Press play. And there we go. Now we have data flowing from our file into Kinesis.